All right, so let's move on. Next story. This will be a complicated recovery for Airbnb. People bought homes, then rent them on Airbnb. Like this has become a cottage industry for people. They don't buy. They don't. They're not renting out a room in their house. They're now buying properties and renting them out through Airbnb as a as their income. Uh, and now they can't make the mortgage payments, and so they put homes into rental markets at half the price. Cities see new rental inventory and housing costs go down. Now what? So here's a quick story from the Wall Street Journal. It says Airbnb saw $1.5 billion in bookings vanish in mid-March. Hosts brought with them. And so there's a trickle effect. For instance, uh, Airbnb hosts brought with them cleaning services, interior designers, property maintenance workers who helped build miniature property empires. So their plight has ripple effects that go far beyond their own listings. Though most real estate econom- economists say there are f- too few Airbnb properties to ignite a housing crisis, the breakdown of the Airbnb economy could strain lenders, undermine property values, and validate some local government's long-held suspicions that Airbnbs contribute to the affordable housing crisis. Now, do you agree with that, Dylan, by the way, that Airbnbs are contributing? I absolutely do, and I think there's no better validation to the hostility that Airbnb has created for accessible housing in America's cities than the fact that suddenly uh, there is a a much bigger inventory of housing at a lower rental rate because uh, of the lockdown and the collapse at Airbnb. So Airbnb's argument that they're not part of the housing crisis, let's say in San Francisco, or in a thousand other cities around the world is just nothing more than Silicon Valley BS. Um, And part of the reason why there's, you know, marginal, this is a lesser issue, but there's a marginal issue. There'll be a marginal issue in certain markets in real estate uh, simply because uh, of the Airbnb collapse. So say that again, there'll be a what? There'll be a, an ag, the same way the foreclosure issue will affect some places. Like there are places where Airbnb is a meaningful piece of the housing economy. Huge tourist sections of tourist cities and whatnot. Yes, where that's going to further exacerbate the housing crisis. Okay, all right. So moving on more. Bear in mind, a, fa- a failing housing market, by the way, also affects the banks because you know who actually owns all the houses in America? The banks, right? The banks. Yeah. Whether they own half the house, three quarters of the house, right. 10% of the house, depending on the size of the mortgage, no one is more owns more U.S. housing than the banks. Okay. Uh, so Airbnb... My point is, you get a housing crisis, all of a sudden you're, gonna, you're back up against a potential bank. But, but, right. So AirDNA estimates that a third of Airbnb's U.S. listings for entire homes or apartments, excluding shared rooms are by hosts with a single property. Another third, so they break it up into three, another third are run by hosts with between two and 24 properties. And the remaining third involve hosts with more than 25 properties. So only a third of Airbnb people are people who have a house and they rent out a room. Two thirds of Airbnb is these businesses, people who buy houses specifically to rent them out. And they own between two and twenty between two and twenty four properties, and then another third of Airbnb hosts own more than twenty five properties. Incredible. Uh, nearly one in five hosts that Airbnb recently surveyed said hosting on the platform helped them avoid eviction or or foreclosure. Uh, so the company presented these findings to the U.S. congressional leaders and successfully lobbied, get this, Airbnb successfully lobbied to have hosts covered under the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, known as the CARES Act, making them potentially eligible for small business loans and unemployment assistance, among other things. So that, so there you go. So there's the, that's what's happening with Airbnb. And what do you think about, so what, what was originally invented as an idea to help people supplement their income by renting out an empty room in their house or apartment, uh, 
is is now turned into full. You're going to get bailed out. They're they're full full fledged companies, and they're. I being, mean, the thing is, this is all the. For me, this is just a window into Silicon Valley, and the sanctimo is really sanctimony Valley, um, and the arrogance of the technologists in San Francisco that have the that run this propaganda of their saving of the world as whether it's Facebook or Airbnb or Uber, um, they're arguably as predatory or more predatory than the U.S. government or the U.S. banks in New York. They do not. These are these are all these are organizations that rather than creating value for people. They're all vampires and they're extremely efficient, well-organized vampires. Um. But you got to feel sorry for these poor folks with all their rental properties. Am I right? I mean, come on. I don't know. Well, so, of course, but they were incentivized by this platform to get into this whole racket. Right. I know. I, of course, you feel bad for them. I but know. I mean, if I'm going to feel bad for the Airbnb people, I also got to feel bad for Hilton and Marriott and and hotel planner. And, you know, I mean, every and all the airlines. Right. I mean, the, I mean, the, 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 every airline, every hotel operator, and every Airbnb operator in the world has been annihilated. Man. Not just by the virus, but by the absurd and disastrous political management and failure to test by our government, which is the real issue. The mismanagement of the virus is the actual problem, not the virus. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?